In this example, we're going to look at cars that are in a T-bone collision. So there's a big truck here. This is bird's eye view. And it's going with speed B1 in that direction. And then it's approaching an intersection. So then there's a car that's trying to go through the intersection. And it is moving with the A1. Well, then they collide and they both shoot off with some final velocities. So we need to know what direction are they going after collision and how fast. So if we look at this, line of impact is in this direction. This is where the truck smashes the car. So we've got our line of impact. And then the Y direction, we have plane of contact. Because there's no force in that direction. So if we think about it, what's going to happen to each of these cars? Well, first we need to know what we're given. So let's say we're given this is B, this is A. We're given mass of B, mass of A, initial velocity of B, initial velocity of A, and the coefficient of restitution. Then we need to find final velocity of B, final velocity of A, and the angles that each of them travel, theta B2, theta A2. Okay, so looking at this, what direction are each of these things going to move afterwards? Well, A was moving vertically, and then it got hit with a force from the side. So then it's going to keep moving vertically, but it's going to also be pushed to the side. So that means A is going to go in this direction, the A2. Now B is moving to the side, and the force it experienced was in that same direction. So B is going to keep moving to the side. So now then we already know the direction of B. This is going to be zero degrees. But A, we don't quite know. We'll have to figure that out. So we have here for A and the Y direction, we know that velocity is conserved. So we know that the A1Y equals the A2Y. So VA1Y, that is given in the problem. So actually we need some numbers for these. So let's say that MA is 1,000 kilograms. and VA1 is 30 meters per second. So A is going about 60 miles per hour, and then B, B is a truck, so it's bigger, so it'll be 1,500 kilograms, and say it's going 25 meters per second. And then E, since this is a car crash, it's not gonna be super bouncy, so E should be pretty small, and we'll say E is 0.3. All right, so now we put these numbers in. VA1Y equals VA2Y, 
And that is going to be, well, VA1 was only going in the y direction, so that's going to be 30 meters per second. Because it was only going in the y direction. Now for B, 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 Y equals zero. B was only going horizontal. Now in the x direction, well, in the y direction we had velocity conserved. So now in the x direction, we have momentum conserved. So we have M A B A one X plus M B B B one because we could put V B one X, but we know that V B one is only going in the X direction. So we'll just say V B one equals M A B A two X plus M B B B two. Because again, B is only going in the x direction after collision. Then we need the E equation. E equals negative V A2x minus V B2 over V A1x minus V B1. So then we put numbers into here. Let's say, well, we know that VA1x, we need to get the x component of that, which conveniently was zero, because it was only going in the y direction. So we get rid of this. And we get rid of this. So now we put these numbers in. We'll have 1500 times VB1, which is 25, equals 1000 VA2X plus 1500 VB2. And then here we'll have 0 0.3 equals V A two X minus V B two over V B one seven point five plus V B two equals V A two X. And then here, 37500 equals 1000 VA2X, which is 7.5 plus VB2 plus 1500 VB2. So 30000 equals 2500 VB2. 12 meters per second equals VB2. So now we know already the angle. So 12 meters per second to the right equals VB2. Now over here we have to plug that back in. So 7.5 plus 12 is 19.5 meters per second equals VA2x. Um, but this is just the x, and we have to include the y. So to get total, we need the magnitude. VA2 equals square root of VA2x 
squared plus v a two y squared. So that equals square root of 30 squared plus 19.5 squared, 35.8 meters per second equals VA2, but we need to find the angle. Well, the angle is proportional to the X and the Y components. So theta2 equals tan inverse of V A2Y over V A2X. Okay, because we have V A2Y, V A2X, V A2, that's theta. So this equals 70.7 degrees. So V82 is 35.8 meters per second at 70.7 degrees. Now this answer should kind of make sense because we know that B is going to slow down once it hits something. It was going 25 at first and now it's only going 12. So it did slow down. And then A is going to still be going full speed in the Y direction. So then its total velocity, now that it's also getting pushed in the X direction, should be a little bit bigger. So 35.8 is bigger than 30. So to recap what we did for this problem, we have the diagram, then we identified the objects and what directions they were moving. We put in the line of impact and plane of contact for our X and Y coordinate frame. Then we checked y direction for velocity conservation, x direction for momentum conservation, and then we solved out for the unknowns.